I'm Geneva Zoltek outside Barnes Jewelry, which is a staple in downtown Helena. Now, every winter season, they do something special and unique. That's just a great trip down memory lane. At Barnes Jewelry, not only are there seemingly infinite clocks available for purchase, there's vintage jewelry for sale, knickknacks and one of a kind oddities. And the staff can pretty much fix anything. But this store does a lot of things. It's not just watches, clocks and jewelry. It could be a sewing machine, it could be a toaster, a walking sprinkler. But around this time of year, a new item gets pulled out for display, antique Christmas lights. This was on my grandparents' tree right here. When I was a kid, this particular light I purchased when I was a kid and I paid 25 cents for it. Hunt has a long held fascination with these decorations. These Christmas lights have been my fantasy my whole life. <laughs> and the reason I collected them is because when I was a kid, I would get underneath the Christmas tree and move all the lights around and these bulbs got hot and my fingers got burned. So my mother forbidden me to touch these lights. The very first Christmas lights were candles. Yes, they very much were a fire hazard in the 19th century. The trees caught on fire. Oh they went from candles to what they call the fairy light that had water and oil in it. This is the lead tinsel that they use on the trees and it's real delicate. Now Hunt keeps his passions alive by repairing those lights that are largely no longer in circulation. So here's another one that has burned out that I have taken. We heat this up and take this off and we put a new filament inside. We put it back down and then we have a new light bulb. I can get it to light. Hunt and the rest of the Barnes Jewelry staff maintain a tradition of repairing the old, keeping it alive and well in Helena. So every year you get a new memory, you know, and then but it brings back a lot of old memories too, you know. Especially when you pull out a set of Christmas lights that was on your grandparents' tree and you're still using them. Hunt says if you have any antique lights around your house that could be repaired, he'd be happy to take a look. In Helena, Geneva Zoltek, MTN News.